here. 965, 966. We got my boy, Carlos Rodon. Rodon and the Yankees at minus 180. Patrick Sandoval and the Angels at plus 160. Total of eight and a half with some juice to the under, actually, at minus 115. All right, B-Dub, let's start with you. So let's get that live button ready. I'm going to live. I'm going to add the Yankees double result at plus 110 because I got to have an official play somewhere. I'm eliminating the Royals money line. And sorry to our Chilean sensation uh, backstage who gets all these done in the quickest amount of time. My apologies. I did not know about the pitching change getting into the show. It just happened live, but I'm going to be live betting Yankees double result here at plus 110. I do not like Patrick Sandoval has not been good. The Yankees righties profile really well. They should be able to hit this guy all day, and I like how Rodones look this year. So I'm going to back the Yankees double result plus 110. What do you got on this one, Beto? Um, I'm going to play the over in this game. And I first of all, before I get into this game, I want to thank uh, my fellow handicapper, Mr. Corby Craig. Corby on the show the other day, and I thought that this was a valuable piece of handicapping advice, so I wanted to it- reiterate it. Uh, came up with the idea or maybe maybe he didn't come up with the idea but he expressed the idea of sometimes you could bet a home run prop and bet against the team and that's exactly what i did last night logan ohoppy hits a home run team loses plays pays plus 825 and it was interesting with ohoppy when he hits a home run, the team only wins 23% of the time. And most of, most of the time, mm. you, you see it range, but like the, like the good team, like Alvarez, just off the top of my head, when he hits a home run, his team wins 80% of the time. So it, if you have the right tools and if you have, have a little bit of time, which I did yesterday, uh, you, you, know, you can make those, those types of plays. So, Corby, thanks for that. Uh, as far as this game goes today, I've got uh, the, the projection at 11.1 runs. Uh, and there's a lot of good things going about this game. Uh, first of all, I'm not real thrilled with either one of the pitchers. I have them about league average. I don't really like either one of the bullpens, and I'll get into that in just a little bit. I've got the Yankees uh, ranked 12th in baseball. The, the Angels ranked 25th, and I like both offenses. Uh, both offenses are top 10, so a lot of, lot of good numbers there. We've got an over umpire, Edwin Moscoso, 1.08, so 8% more runs when this guy's behind the dish uh, based on the, my uh, projected uh, ERAs, and then good, good hitting weather. So a lot of things looking uh, towards the over on that one. You can get it at 8.5 half right about even money right now but one of the things i wanted to bear out here in this analysis is the yankees bullpen if you look at their era they're two in baseball 2.98 but when you look at really kind of deeper into the numbers they're they're sitting around and i have them 12th in the model they're sitting around this is the the triple x bullpen ratings kyle this is mm. what i was i was working with uh uh, this morning mm-hmm. before the show. And uh, you, you look at the the expected strikeout percentage. Now, this is swinging strike percentage converted into a, uh, a strikeout percentage. They're 17th in baseball there. And expected walk percentage, they're 11th in baseball. So I, I don't necessarily know if this team's going to continue to be the second team from an ERA standpoint. Uh, these things tend to regress, and, and I have them probably about middle, little, middle, top top to middle, 11th in baseball. And then you look at this this uh, Angels bullpen. Uh, they're 27th in baseball uh, by by those by those numbers. Expected strikeout percentage, expected walk percentage, and then the the final expected number. This is what makes it the triple X, Kyle. Is expected mm. ground ball percentage based on la- launch angle, and uh, they again are 27th in baseball. 4.61 projected ERA for that bullpen. So crappy bullpens, average starters, good offenses, and uh, good ancillary factors all contribute. Let's go over here in uh, Anaheim tonight, guys. Mm. Ancillary. What a great word. I I actually think the Yankees have a big pitching advantage here. I'm a little bit more on that side, Corby. I don't know where you're at on that one, but I'm going to back the double results at plus 110. It is indeed a tough card today. Uh, (laughs) It really is. Uh, But what are your thoughts here, Rodon versus Sandoval in this Yanks Angels game? Yeah, I actually have value to the over as well in this game, which is uh, kind of interesting because we're seeing it move down towards eight and a half juiced. Under, if this hits eight, I will be all over this over. Um, but for the sake of the show, I took the Yankees' first five run line. I believe I got minus 115. You can get minus 110 right now. Uh, pretty easy handicap is BetUS gives the best price in the market here. Uh, a money line of 165, a run line of 110. It's 
55 cents off. And I've kind of talked about this should be 45 to 50 cents, basically every single time that a total is four and a half or five. So uh, getting 10 cents free uh, and you can look at the market and see that that is kind of the case is everybody else has this number 120, 125. Other than that, Carlos Rodon is a fastball primary pitcher, 55% fastball. Uh, and the Angels, though they've been okay, they're 12th in the league in WRC Plus first the fastball. This isn't really a normal fastball. It has 2,400 RPMs of spin, which is in the 84th percentile. This is a fastball that has some break, uh, and we've seen the Angels struggle with breaking stuff if it's not at the bottom of the zone. The bottom of the zone, the Angels have kind of crushed. Like uh, I think they're fourth in the league in sliders. So if you're if you're hitting the bottom of the zone, you're in trouble. Uh, Rodon has the ability to keep it high with the fastball, and I think he gets a lot more punch outs because of it. So took the Yankees first five run line here. Yeah, I like that. I'm seeing 125 on the sheet, but I look, just looked at over at betustv.com slash join, and it was minus 110 on the run line in the first five. So uh, you're getting a little yeah, bit should, more uh, juice out of the squeeze out of it. Yeah, it's a 125 on the sheet. I don't know if that's – the sheet might look funky today at the end because I'm dropping plays and adding plays. It's just – but that's sitting at minus 110 over at BetUS. Get your votes in right now if you guys want to have your say on who the chat play of the day is. Remember, we keep your official record here. So you've got your four options today. Make sure you vote on it in the poll In the poll here. We've got Flaherty over 17 and a half outs, 17 and a half outs at minus 160. Uh, the Diamondbacks in the first five at minus 115. Christian Yelich over one and a half total bases at plus 130 and the Astros money line at plus 116. So those are your options there today. Be sure you vote out there in the chat box. Let's get to our series of the for purposes of the show. We've all got three official plays here. I added the live button. Yankees double result plus 110. B-Dub likes the over eight and a half in this game at even money plus 100. And Corby's taking the Yankees on the run line in the first five. And that pays at minus 110.